What? And with this, the world an eternal game. I guess it's fine. Do I have to grab what Chiaki says and use it against her own words? And with this, Junka. All right. I'm gonna showcase my. Just leave the BG. Hey, can I take? Want to be awed by the? I've prepared you. A... <laughs> Should I begin with a? <laughs> That's not it. You guys aren't part of the game, right? And with this, the world will- An eternal game utopia sounds like- This world. Who are you? I'm just a part of the game. But you guys aren't, right? Chiaki? Is that you? Why are you here? Hmm... I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because you should have already disappeared. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, don't you think they're messed up? Telling us the world's going to be destroyed? And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me, I'm just not able to choose. Seriously. I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, I was told I'm going to disappear too. <laughs> Isn't that messed up? Hey, you don't want that either, right? I mean, if we lose our memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going to completely disappear, and none of us will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Even if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't mean I will completely disappear. As long as everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, I will never disappear. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. You're right, but... You're... probably just scared, right? Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden, right? Yeah. I'm scared. I'm obviously terrified... of that. How much longer are you going to be this indecisive? Huh? Didn't you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's Peak Academy? But... Even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime... You've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's important is that you believe in yourself. If you can't do that... No matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just like... how you were in the past. You? Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past Hajime is in the past. He's not the same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be alright. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Ichiaki, can you tell me something? Which... which choice should I make? My hope? The world's hope? Which one should I choose? You guys are the only ones who have the right to decide your future, and the responsibility too. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Create? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. You guys don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Do you think someone like me can do that? Since you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you just do it, Things will turn out okay. <clears throat> if I do it, 
Things will turn out okay. Of course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. B but this isn't a game, right? Hey, Hajime. This isn't for the sake of anyone else. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, Hajime. Come on, I'll help out too. Help? I have no talent at all. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. I don't want to disappear. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Who cares what will happen to the world? I don't want to sacrifice myself. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. There's no way we can beat Junko. It's the Future Foundation's fault. Not mine. I can't choose the future. See? If you just do it, things will turn out okay. You should even be able to create the future. Is this me? Is this really me? So uncool. It's totally uncool. I was even betrayed by the Academy. Even so, I... No matter what kind of future it is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. Everything that happened here, it won't be meaningless. If you guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Even if it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll be cheering for you too. That reminds me. I forgot to say it again. I will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair, the tragedy will start once again. I want to see Pekka one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair, we might be killed by the Future Foundation, right? This is your responsibility, since you're the ones who fell to despair. It's not my responsibility. It's the Future Foundation's. They're both hope and they're both despair! A conclusion will never be fucking reached! You can't lose hope! If the memories we made here disappear... I will not even remember... ...why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of despair... ...the tragedy will start once again. I want to see Becca one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair... We might be killed by the Future Foundation, right? This is your responsibility, since you're the ones who fell to despair. It's not my responsibility. It's the Future Foundation's. You can't lose hope! If the memories we made here just I will not even remember why everyone died. If we don't rid the world of the tragedy, we'll start what I want to see back a one If we turn back into we might be killed by the This is your responsibility. It's not the responsibility. It's the future foundation. They're both hope and they're both a conclusion will never No, that's wrong! It won't just be hope. There will probably be a lot of despair, too. I don't know what kind of future awaits us. But our futures are ours! I won't let anyone take them! Huh? Who the hell are you? I've decided. I'm done running away. I will fight for my future! 
I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's not for anyone else's sake, but my own. D don't tell me. Izuru? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime Hinata! Man, fuck you, Dual Shock. <coughs> you can't tell me what to do. You despair because you yearn for help. You yearn for help. The cut lets finish this already. There's no need for you to choose. Close your eyes and cover your ears. Just shut the hell up. If you do that, this game is gonna kick you. Don't want that? Just turn off the game. Even so, I. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. I'll never let anyone choose again. Oh, I still gotta fight you? Oh shit. Come on. You have no oh shit. There's no hope. Just give up already. A miracle won't happen. What is this crappy feeling? I don't want anything. Mizuru! You have no argument. The future will make you suffer. Just give up already. Oh, I fucking missed. Come on. You're not hope. I don't want to lose anything. Any choice is despair. You're not hope. You have no argument. I don't want anything. You won't be able to do it. You won't be able to do anything. No, no that's, that's wrong. wrong. What the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this all of a sudden? Everyone, let's shut this game down! Huh? But, but... Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll... There's never only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow things to end this way. The future everyone has created for us should have more possibilities than that. Let's leave this place with confidence. And from there, we can just create it on our own. The future that we want. What are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. It wouldn't be strange if a miracle happened. This isn't a game. We can change the future as much as we want. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. Th that goes for everyone else! Um, we just have to press these two buttons at the same time, correct? <clears throat> um, I wonder. I do not really understand it myself, but I just... I just saw it. When my body felt so heavy that I could not move, when I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. A warm, yet resolute light. The one who shined that light, it was probably... You saw it too, right, Hajime? The future we are going to create from this moment on. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then, there is no way we can stop now. S seriously That's a suicidal decision! I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. There's no telling how this will play out, but... heard her voice. In fact, I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. I don't like thinking about complicated stuff. If there's someone strong worth fighting, I'll fight. It's just who I am, you know? That's what it means to be confident, right? Then, I'm gonna choose this! Man, this sure is getting annoying again. But if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. If I don't have any place to go back to, I should at least protect this place no matter what. 
You... you all... Why? Why? How... How can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Huh? We believe in our future. That's what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We believe we can even create our own futures. That's... that's impossible. That can't be hope. It's not even despair. What is this? Hajime, everyone, thank you. I'm not the one you should be thanking. Huh? Let's get started. I didn't think it would end this easily. Huh? It's not the end, right? This is just the beginning, right? First, we need to let this game world end. And from that point on, we're the ones who are going to create. This is absolute despair. I feel despair upon despair and despair toward despair yet again. How fun. <laughs> Once you've experienced the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? <sighs> but I guess I no longer... I no longer have to <laughs> hope for despair. That is just so hopeless. What was that just now? Why did Usami appear? She should have already disappeared. I guess it's just as Hajime said. At least this wasn't the ending prepared for them. This was the ending they created. Are you saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. This game world is going to end soon. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, there's no need for us to do anything. Man, it's collapsing. You're right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it will still have meaning, right? Of course, Miss Sonia. I don't know the proper way to say this, but I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so bad at explaining things. Now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning or not, it all depends on us now. Time's almost up. 
I'm pretty scared. I am scared too. But it's okay, right? It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's the future! Hey, I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys better remember me too. My name is... Kazuichi Soda. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no way I'd forget you guys that easily. Even if I forget, I will use all my might and remember. If you start talking weird later, Hajime, I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's a relief. But make sure you hold back as much as you can. So this is the end. But it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared. So scared. But... Thank you. Thank you, Chiaki. Phew. I finally said it. Me too. Thank you. I'll never forget about you guys. I'll never, ever forget. I'll be cheering for you guys from now on. From somewhere. Cause we're all friends after all. We're finally done! Thank the Lord! And so, the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality, is about to lower its curtains. An incident smaller than Hope Peak Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future. As long as they remain here. Apparently they've finished the preparations. We can leave any time. Then, I guess we should get going. Hey Makoto, is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me, so I let you take the lead. Are they really going to be okay? Didn't they just turn back into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends? I can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. It seems that there are too many soft-hearted people here. But in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. No, the possibility isn't a problem. Even if there's the smallest possibility, they're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their eyes, that is the future. The smallest possibility. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Maybe, for people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? <laughs> as cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. Haven't grown up? That's the main reason we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? I guess I'll respect your decision. This time. However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. If the higher-ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. We need to work on concealing it. 
That's not a problem. And what do you intend to explain to HQ? Um... About that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Huh? Why? You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Fine. Then let's go back as well. We're not even close to finished yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides the future foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is not finished. We must end this once and for all, for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Plus, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't make me remember something so horrifying. Then let's go. We must create our own futures, too. And so, the ordeal has ended. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives that are much more absurd, nonsensical, and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try to go anywhere. But it doesn't mean you'll get there. Even so, I will keep on living. I will keep on living as Hajime Hinata. My future lies here. God, it's been fucking three months since I started this playthrough because I was like, eh, it should take a month at most. The first thing in Rumpa wasn't that long. I finished it in like a week. And then I was like, eh, Zang Rumpa V3 is coming out soon. Might as well play two. Never played it. Eh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> everything went wrong everything the fact that this fucking playthrough took three months instead of fucking the one it was supposed to not even three months it took like the mid of october november december and the fucking it'll probably like this video will probably come out towards the end of january it is fucking god damn it i did not want to spend this long on this game it's not that I hate this game, I don't. Every moment of it was fucking fun and I loved it. You know, besides the besides bullshit the fucking logic dive moments. But god damn it. Danganronpa. <coughs> I mm, I don't know how to feel about Danganronpa 2 compared to 1. There's a lot of interesting things going on, but also also a lot of things are kind of too similar. You know? Um. So. <laughs> God damn it. But fucking. The whole. The whole course of this playthrough. During the whole course of this playthrough. I was able to watch the first Danganronpa anime. I played fucking. Uh. uh Ultra Despair Girls. That had like no spoilers for it at all. For Danganronpa 2. Which made me really happy. I was afraid I was going to run into something. Um. Guess I know why uh. Why Nagito wears a fucking mitten on the other hand now to, to hide that spoiler. Like, that was a good way to hide that shit. I suspected nothing. I just thought he was fucking crazy. Um, I remember at the end of that, you see a little bit of, uh, of, of Izuru, right? But they don't really show his face or anything, so I didn't know who the fuck that was. Um, <laughs> and of course, in the middle of this playthrough, I played like... I played like what an hour or two of v3 just to get those videos up when it came out 
now now fucking <laughs> after this goes up i'm probably gonna end up taking like a week break from danganronpa like completely uploading it at all maybe like a week or two and then danganronpa v3 is gonna get uploaded after that because again i'm a person of my word i like to be a person of my word stick to my word and fucking i said i was doing a playthrough of that i'm gonna do a playthrough of that right i had to take the twitter and tell people i was like i was like huh gonna put that playthrough on hiatus now because dang rubber 2 is taking way too long and there's no way that i'm playing both of these playing 2 and v3 at the same time so yeah that's what's gonna end up happening fucking god damn it <laughs> and before i play v3 i probably before i actually sit down and seriously play v3 i probably has to watch uh dang rubber 3 anime to see what the hell happens there because I didn't even know that existed until like what a month ago. Um, damn, holy shit, dang Rumpa. What what can I say? What can I say? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Although there are some moments where I felt like they dragged it out, especially towards the end here. Like I I, I was speechless because Junko kept running her fucking mouth, and it's like you're talking about useless shit right now. You can sum this up in like in like a paragraph. Literally sat here for like the past fucking past like what six hours playing this fucking game like legit <laughs> like legit sat here since like since like what 11 <laughs> since like 11 or 12 it is now like nine something like that like come on man come on <laughs> come on that's crazy but uh yeah I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't have anything else to say. My brain is fried right now. I shouldn't have been sitting here for this long fucking playing this shit. <laughs> Maybe I can go back to playing some fucking Catherine or something. Get those playthroughs finished. And fucking Catherine full body's a piece of shit. God damn it. Anyways. uh, We're gonna skip the credits. I'm pretty sure these credits are long as fuck. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. You obtain present Easter egg. Okay. You have obtained present Usumi Strat. Obtain the present Danganronpa If. What? Come on, man. Don't. What? What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you? What are you telling me right now? What? What are you? What are you? What? What are you telling me right now? Danganronpa. I'm sorry, what are you telling me, Danganronpa if? What the fuck? Is that Mukuro? From the beginning. What? The following novel contains references to characters who appear in the novel Danganronpa Zero. What the fuck is Danganronpa Zero? What is this? Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck this. Fuck you. <laughs> Huh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video of this in the future. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I know I'm not looking at this shit. I don't give a fuck about Usumi and her bullshit. But that's it for Danganronpa. God damn it! For those of you who have stuck with this playthrough for I don't know how long this is. Like what, 60 parts at this point? It is. It is fucking way long than it honestly should be. But. For those who stick stick to this playthrough and watched everything, or hell, even half of it, I thank you for that support. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to me. Press that press that red button that everybody loves because it helps out a lot. And just share the video. If you want, you can comment down and below and tell me what your favorite part of this fucking playthrough was or the craziest shit that you think happened in this playthrough, like fucking Nagito trying to blow his own fucking brains out or Nagito trying to kill himself or half of the shit that Nagito does in general. But I will not spend any more time talking about this shit. I'm highly tired. I'm going to go to bed now and I will catch you guys in the next video.